which is like a big, big woman. Big girl. I, mean, I don't know. And so she started beating up John Bartholomew, and then we all like had to retreat. I think we retreated into our house, and Rosa Jones was circling the house. <laughs> waiting for us to come back. Those Jones. The way stories are told in small towns seems so special to me. Everyone is connected to one another, and so everyone's story is also the story of ten other people. They wind with no particular destination. One name reminds the teller of someone else, a high school classmate or childhood neighbor. Weird. Growing up, family gatherings never seemed to leave the dinner table. I would sit there for hours as my dad and his six siblings' conversations spanned politics, childhood memories, what the priest or his mother was up to, and what grain was the healthiest. Sometimes, however, I think about the silence left in between the stories. There's things at the dinner table that were left unsaid. I think my younger sister and I both agree that sometimes these silences were deafening. Um, but I always found it weird when I knew that there were things going on, like, um, when Tom Lee got cancer and nobody talked about it and or or nobody talked about like how it made him feel or anything like that you know nobody really ever talked about anything important um, or anything emotional he was taught more to just bottle it up and I would assume that all of his siblings were taught that too so that's just kind of how it works, you know? But how do you remedy a silence? You start talking. Hey, we're all gonna go camping. 